So the master of horror himself, Jean Carpenter. I was like, why did you call him Jean? <laughs> Sean. 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 No. Jean. <laughs> like Jean, Jean Carpenter. <laughs> it sounds much more prestigious. Okay. Like that. You know, he's like a French director or yeah. something. Right? French director Jean, 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 Jean Carpenter. Carpenter. No? Anyway, he's returned to the scene after uh, an 11 year hiatus, I think, or maybe 13. When was the war? 20, 20, 2010, 12, somewhere around mm. that area. I don't know. It's a bad movie. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Carpenter is famously kind of lost uh, his touch, unfortunately. Um, for me, the last great thing that he made was. In the Mouth of Madness, if we're talking about mm. film. I did quite like his Masters of Horror episode, Cigarette mm. Burns and Pro Life. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, those mm -hmm. those are, would be the last things that he did, but I'm not a fan of Vampires or Ghost of Mars or The Ward. Um, he just pretty much after In the Mouth of Madness, it was just, it was all downhill there for mm. me for the most part outside of the Masters. So I was like, okay, cool. He's he's attaching his his name to something now here. Peacock original, of course. Mm -hmm. Peacock was who was uh, putting out the Halloween films. Yep. So I'm assuming they partnered up because of that, because he was working on the soundtracks. And you know, he's probably around that energy. Yeah. With David Gordon Green and and the Halloween crew, mm -hmm. and you know Jamie Lee, I'm sure too. And he was like, ah, you know, maybe I want to get back in the director's chair. You know, it's been a little while. Why not? So this kind of came out of nowhere. I don't feel like they're promoting this very much at all. And no buddy is talking about this yeah. show at all. And unfortunately, uh, from what we saw, so this is just a an initial reaction. We watched the first episode. Uh, I think it should remain untalked about, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so far. Yeah, I didn't know that this was supposed to be, like, based on true stories. It's kind of going for, like, a... Does Unsolved Mysteries, they do reenactments, kind of? Like, they don't do them like this. This yeah. is mostly reenactment. So as far as the show goes, you can yeah. explain what the show is about. Like, this episode? No, just how oh, the so the the show. the show is it takes interviews from real life people who have had are they real life? Though? You think this is this is real life? These are like real accounts, or yes, are they, okay. So you don't because I think it would have been all one hundred percent better if it was all scripted. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so it takes the accounts of real life people who've had like supernatural, paranormal stuff happen to them, and then there's. Um, fictional like dramatized depictions of the events yeah. uh in intertwined with interviews throughout the they episode do that on ne on netflix right with that show like haunted like and then... like really haunt true i think I, it's just I think it's haunted. called haunted too yeah i think you're right but yeah a it's a it's like a that. popular um it's a popular style for telling true stories personally I don't like it. I think that showing the dramatization makes it feel less believable. I'd rather just watch interviews of people with like photos or, you know, whatever kind of cut in to show the real life things that are happening. Um, I don't like the dramatization. And this one, I just was like, I could not have cared less about this story. Now, I think it's important to note that John Carpenter did not direct this episode. He did not. He did direct one of the episodes at least because he is being credited as a director on the IMDb. I don't know which one yet. Maybe if maybe that information is, I'm sure it is finally online. It, it wasn't when I kept checking on it because I wanted to know what one it is. Mm. Now, if you do have Peacock, you can download the Peacock app and watch the first episode for free. You do not need a Peacock uh, membership to watch it. Yeah. It will have ads every 
three minutes. Yeah, there's a lot of ads. But then every episode from there, you have to be a premium member. But it yeah. kind of gives you a tease. Um, and yeah, it's just, why do you need John Carpenter attached to this? Like, of all the things to bring him back for. Yeah. This is such a weird, this is, this is the kind of stuff. These like dramatizations, dramatizations or mm -hmm. dramatizations? Dramatizations. There's a T in there? Yeah. Okay. I think so. <laughs> That's <laughs> how I've always been saying okay. it. Dramatization. Dramatization. Okay. But these kinds of shows, like these are the kinds of shows for me that you hire like a kid fresh out of film school or sure. yeah. like a really basic director that knows how to frame basic shots yeah and to get like just basic actors together to do quick reenactments you're not really because these aren't these aren't really trying to be like narrative filmmaking mm. it's it's done as like the interview and then there's like supposed to be clips that are telling you what they're telling you yeah but it's not it's not it's not the same as a film not at all no the quality and and maybe that was the attempt oh we're gonna finally make a good one of these we're gonna finally make one where the dramatizations mm -hmm. feel like legitimate films failure yeah i mean with this episode at least because they're directed by different people there's obviously a chance that other episodes might be better than others of course but for I us, it. I don't, yeah, for this one, it, it didn't feel any different than the other same versions of this style that I've seen. Um, I found it to be very kind of corny and cheesy. I didn't think that any of the horror stuff worked in it. It wasn't really scary. There's these weird, like, still images that we kept laughing about that, like, there's one in the beginning that looks so bad that's like a house it's like a CGI image. It's like a house with like an animated dog outside of it, like not real. It's like you said. Yeah, it's like those, if you've ever seen those videos on YouTube that are like, like soundscapes and it's like a picture of a, like it'll be a video that has like relaxing music playing, but then on screen, like lo-fi like lo or whatever, but then on screen, it's like an animated, like looped, like long animation video of like a porch with like an animated dog and like a cat and leaves falling. <laughs> And it's just look, but they look so bad. Like they don't blend into the, to the scenery. It looks like you are in like a photo editing app and you're taking like clip art and putting it on top of a background. Yeah. It was really weird. And there was a few scenes like that. There's like another one I think with the cat was also fake looking. Yeah. Um, so that was super bizarre. I don't know why those were included. It's like you can go get stock footage. Yeah. You can go and film like some idyllic looking house with a dog outside of it. Yeah. Like I don't know why, unless it's saving money, I guess. But it just really brought down the quality of this immensely for me. <laughs> Even if you took those out, the yeah. quality of this. It just, I do want to say this. I don't think it matters exactly, but I do want this little caveat i do not like stuff like this at all mm. so they would have had to really really pull out something unique for this to work now it's funny because look at something like savage land sure right? that's, that yeah. is kind of doing this it's it's all fake in savage land but it's doing this, they don't do any real reenactments, right? Yeah. Like with the mockumentary style, the reason I like the mockumentary style in in like scripted ways is that we get the found footage, we get the real footage yeah. of what was happening with the guy that we're, you know, now interviewing or people that knew that guy or whatever. And it feels like a film. These just like, you know, these are like reenactments. So there's, right. there's somehow there's just, there's no, there's no stakes in mm. those retellings to me. They yeah. don't do anything. They just kind of feel like we're shining a spotlight on what some person said about 
anecdotally about one of their experiences. Right. And so it just, I don't know, it never holds real weight to me, which is kind of funny because we, we, this isn't truly fair. Your mic turned off. Really? Yep. You think it's been off this whole time? I don't know. I just wanted to tell you before. Uh, it shouldn't be dead because I charged it. Yeah. I don't know. Mine's on. Mine's on. I just wanted to point it out before, even though we've already kind of said a lot. <laughs> we have said a lot. Um, but I, all I was going to say is it is kind of weird and unfair because that is what, like, The Conjuring is or mm. the Amityville Horror or any of those movies that are, like, based on true stories and the whole film is a dramatization. Yeah. Right? But for some reason, this, like, sat down for an interview style and then we go and we show little clips of what they're talking about i hate it yeah and it is it is not winning me over here in the slightest yeah. and yeah john carpenter does the narration in the opening and this is this is just another another like stain on his wonderful reputation from the past it's like, man, if you're going to come back, man, you got to come back with something so much stronger than this. Yeah. So. It's a flop. Big time. And no one's watching it or talking about it. And there's a reason. And yeah. the only other episode I will watch at some point, and I don't have any interest currently. We yeah. won't be watching any others of these. But I would like to at least see the John Carpenter episode. Yeah, I would watch that, too. So if you guys can tell us in the comments below, I'm sure I can Google it, but if you know which one, and just tell me in the comments, maybe we can watch that at some point. But for right now, I'm not chomping at the bit to get to it. No. That's Neither it. am I. It's terrible. Yep. <laughs> It has like a four point something on IMDb, and that's pretty fair. It's warranted, unfortunately. Ugh, what a bummer. That. What a bummer. That. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Don't watch it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>